Hickey, I'm one of the tutors who teaches with YMCA Fit. I work on the exercise to music courses predominantly and also the gym instructor and the personal trainer diploma. Anything that you want to do in the exercise to music field, this is the course that you need to be on. With the gym that I attend, it's what everyone hears of YMCA. It's basically how they've described it, it's the Gucci of Gucci of gyms. It will get you into anywhere, so if you want to um, you know, do a course in a certain club with a YMCA, they're told you, you can walk in because of the intensity of it and how thorough they are as well with it. There's two course formats that we offer. There's an intensive version, which is all done face to face, and that covers both the theory and the practical element of the course. There's also a blended learning option, which is maybe more suitable for people who have um, quite a lot of commitments and can't get time off of work. The blended option is great for people who are very self-motivated and can study from home. The theory will be done via an e-learning format, so they get log onto a website and they can complete all of the theory sections and the practical element is done at the weekends. It's a, a conglomeration of things like practical work, we do group work, we do theory. Um, it's all learned in a group setting and people also are asked to do things obviously individually towards the end, teaching, but we start with groups and then we sort of come down to smaller numbers. On the first day of the Exercise to Music course, there are a number of different sessions. They start to learn about basic choreography, so we look at the different types of moves that they might find in a typical aerobics class. They look at how they can start to vary these types of movements and make them look a little bit more interesting. We talk about elements of variation, where we work with different rhythms, we work with different intensities, different impacts, just to make the moves look a little bit more interesting than what they originally start out as. We also look at music as well, which is one of the crucial parts to exercise to music. Um, we look at how different beats occur in music, where they might be fast beats or they might be slow beats. And we look at this thing called the elusive number one. It's the very first beat of the music, which happens every phrase that comes around. And they need to start learning how to identify what a phrase in music is. Um, I think if you're interested in doing this uh, exercise to music course, I highly recommend you go to as many different aerobic classes as possible. It would be very difficult to start putting the skills together, like listening to the music and cueing the move at the right time, without having that experience of actually being a participant in the class. The people in this course are really, really lovely. Um, I think on, on the last day, which is next week, I think we're all going to go for a drink, which is nice. So the skills that they learn from the course will allow them then to go out into the industry and competently and safely teach an exercise to music class.